I'm Joanna Simpson here at Risk Minds International and joining me now is Michael Johnson, the Executive Vice President of Supervision and Regulation at the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for having me, Joanna. And in your presentation, you mentioned a number of potential changes to how the Federal Reserve supervises larger banks. How do you think those changes uh, will impact the banks in terms of their management and in also in terms of risk? Well, that's a great question, Joanna. I think the implications, well, first off, hopefully uh, there will not be a major change for how banks go about their day-to-day -day risk management. And what we're really trying to do is clarify our expectations from a supervisory perspective so that uh, there's, really, there's no surprises. The more transparent we can be in the process, the better off we are. Uh, and so some of the things that we're proposing, we already have an outline of our broad supervisory framework, but we want to be clear about how our work fits into our overall assessments and how we rate firms, uh, as well as uh, I think we can improve some of our guidance around uh, govern governance and control expectations. Particularly, we do have a proposal out there uh, related to the effectiveness of boards of directors. So, uh, so again, I don't think it should change, but hopefully clarify. And what sort of other changes do you think might be coming along? Yeah, well, there's a few other things that are, that are in the pipeline. Again, I want to reiterate what we have out there right now are proposals. They're out for comment, so they themselves may, in fact, change. We have more that needs to come with respect to governance and controls. And from a regulation perspective, while I don't want to speak for our current chair, Chair Yellen, or the nominated new chair, uh, Governor Powell, uh, but they both have been pretty transparent about the, the need to, uh, at this point in the cycle, reassess the many changes that were put in place kind of post-crisis just to make sure that they're effectively calibrated for today, today's risk. So we're talking about things around capital planning. Can we be more transparent there? In the U.S., we have the VOCA rules that appropriately calibrated and tailored for the risk profile of our firms. So we're looking at a number of uh, potential changes and new proposals. There's a lot of potential things there on the horizon. Michael Johnson, yeah. thank you very much for joining me. Thanks again.